morning. My name is Marissa, and this is Power Sculpt. We're going to start just by standing, and we'll put our feet hip width and parallel. Let's measure out what exactly is hip width. So take your two hands out in front of you and make two fists, and then put your two fists together, and bend your knees, and then put your two fists together between your feet. And then you're going to walk your feet so close that they're touching the two fists. Then open up your fingers and bend your knees and put your hands on your thighs. Look down at your feet and make sure that your heels are straight back behind your toes. So that means your heels don't drift in or drift out, but that the two feet are parallel to each other. And then push off your thighs and come to stand up. So our feet right now are two fist width apart. It's known as hip distance apart. So hip distance apart is not very wide. Your feet are right under your hips. They're about five, six inches apart. Let's sweep the arms out and all the way up. Then stay standing tall. Just lower your hands down by your side. Do that three more times. Inhale the arms out and up. Exhale the arms out and down. Do it two more times. Inhale your arms out and up. Exhale your arms out and down. Do it one more time. Inhale your arms out and up. Exhale your arms out and down. Let's add to that. Sweep your arms out and up. Now dive forward as your arms still go out to the side and down. Inhale, lift your back to a tabletop and turn your palms to face each other. Head, head, you're gonna hug the head of the arm bones up and into your shoulder sockets. Then exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way to the sky. Your hands land shoulder distance apart. Your palms face each other. Turn your palms out. Dive forward as your arms go out to the sides and down to the ground as you drop your head. Then lift your torso so that your back is parallel to the ground. It's called the tabletop. Turn your palms to face each other. Hug your arm bones up and into your shoulder sockets so the arms are integrated into your body. Then exhale, fold over your palms, face the back of your mat. Sweep the arms out and all the way up. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, lift to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep the arms out and all the way up. This time, keep the arms lifting straight up to the sky. And then just take your left arm out to the side and pause here. So I'm mirroring you. It looks like we're doing the same thing. You have your right arm to the ceiling and your left arm out to the side. Take your right knee to the ground behind you and then come back up to stand. We're keeping the arms. So the right knee goes to the ground and then comes back up. Three ground and up. Four ground and up. Five ground and up. Six ground and up. Seven ground and up eight ground and up we're going to add on to that take the right knee to the ground and now take your right knee up so you're taking the right knee to the ground and then the right knee up three ground and up four ground and up five ground and up six ground and up Seven ground and up. Eight ground and up. Just step the foot down, pause here, breathe here. Let's add to that. Take the right knee to the ground. Step the left foot out to the left side. Left foot out to the left side. Then step that left foot forward exactly where it just was. The right knee comes up. So we've added on, the right knee goes to the ground, the left leg reaches out to the left, then it returns forward, and then the right knee comes up. Three down, side, forward, up. Four down, side, forward, up. Five down, side, forward, Six down, side, forward, up. Seven down, side, forward, up. Eight down, side, forward, up. 
come to stand, both arms go to the sky, dive forward, the arms go out to the sides and down. Your feet are hip width and parallel. Inhale to a tabletop, exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and up, the hands land shoulder distance apart, the palms face each other. Hold on to your elbows. Stretch over to your right, keep holding your elbows, take your left arm back by your left ear and peek up to the left. While you're stretching to the right, ground down through the outside of your left foot so you not only get a stretch on the left side of your waist, but you're getting a stretch to the outside of your left hip. Look straight ahead and rise up. Switch the grip of holding your elbows. Go up and over to your left. Keep holding the elbows. Take that right arm back by your right ear and then peek up towards the right. While you're side bending over to the left, ground down through the outside of your right foot. So again, you're not only getting a stretch to the outside of your right waist, you're getting a stretch to the outside of your right hip. Look straight ahead and rise up. Keep holding your elbows and bend your knees. Keep holding your elbows, bring your torso parallel to the ground. Then keep holding your elbows, bring your torso parallel to your thighs. So you're holding your elbows and they're coming parallel to the ground and the crown of your head is going parallel to the ground. Straighten your legs while you're folded in on yourself and sway yourself side to side. Then find stillness, bend your knees, keep holding your elbows, bring your torso parallel to the ground. Keep holding your elbows, bring your torso parallel to the wall in front of you. You're looking straight out ahead. Your chin is level with the floor. Push into your feet, rise up, lift your arms to the sky, turn your palms out, dive forward and down. Inhale, lift to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Keep your left arm reaching to the sky. Take your right arm out to the side. Take your left knee to the ground behind you. And then just come back to stand with the arms remaining as they are. So with the left knee down and standing. Left knee down, three, stand. Four, stand. Five, stand, six, stand, seven, stand, eight. Let's add to that. Take the left knee to the ground. Now come up to stand with the left knee up. So with the left knee down and up, three down and up. You're sculpting your gluteals. Four down and up, five down and up, six down, and up, seven down and up, eight down and up. Take the foot down, coming to stand. Let's add to that. Let's take the left knee to the ground behind us. We'll step the right foot out to the right side. Then we'll return the right foot forward where it was and we'll take the left knee up. So two down, out, forward, up, three down, out, forward, up, four down, out, forward, up, five down, out, forward, up, six down, out, forward, up, seven down, out, forward, up, eight down, out, forward, up, step the foot down, take both arms to the sky, clasp your hands overhead, take your hands behind your head, your hands are clasped, your elbows are wide, the feet are hip width and parallel, narrow your elbows in, drop your chin to your chest, it's a stretch for the back of your neck, bend your knees, and let your elbows come down to touch your knees. Keep your hands clasped behind your head. Keep your hands clasped and come all the way back up to stand 
widen your elbows, arc backwards. It's standing abdominal work. Narrow the elbows in and bend your knees. Your elbows come down to touch your knees. Come all the way back up with your hands clasped, your elbows wide. So we're going three down, working the abdominals. It's like a crunch. And then come all the way back up, widening. Four down. And up and back. Five in and down. Up and back. Six in and down, up and back. Seven in and down, up and back. Eight in and down, up and back. Stay arcing back, reach your arms behind you, your palms face each other. It's like you're stretching yourself over a huge rainbow. Then turn your palms forward and tap your toes, your legs remain straight. Reach your arms forward, up and back, forward and down. Three, up and back, forward and down. Four, up and back, forward and down. Five, up and back, forward and down. Six, up and back forward and down, seven up and back, the legs stay straight the whole time, forward and down, one more, up and back, forward and down, stay here, drop your head, bend your knees and take your hands to high finger pads right outside of your feet, then put your hands on your thighs and come to stand up, let's alternate standing and now squat with your hands in prayer, so stand, and squat with your hands in prayer. Three, squat. Four, squat. Five, squat. Six, squat. Seven, squat. Eight, stay squatting. Step your right foot out to the right side. You're still squatting. Step the right foot in. The feet are hip width and parallel. Right foot goes out and in. Three, out and in. Four, out and in, five out and in, six out and in, seven out and in, eight out. Let's step the left foot out and in, feet hip width apart. The knees remain bent the whole time, three out and in, four out, squat, five, squat, six, squat, seven, squat, eight, Stand and squat, two, squat, three, squat, four, squat, five, squat, six, squat, seven, squat, eight, stay squatting, step the right foot out and then back in, left foot out, we're alternating, right, center, left, center, three, right, center, left, center, four, right, center, left, center, five, right, center, left, center, six, right, center, left, center, seven, right, center, left, center, eight, right, center, left, come to stand, do that squat again, stand, two, squat, stand, three, stand, four, stand, five, stand, six, Stand, seven, stand, eight, stay down, reach your arms forward, the palms face each other, shoulder distance apart. Reach your arms to the ceiling, the palms face each other. Take your arms out to a T shape, your palms are face down. Lower your butt one level, second level, third level, lift your butt only halfway up. So you're going down one level, second level, third level, halfway up. Let's keep going. Three two, three, halfway up, four, two, three, halfway up, five, two, three, halfway up, six, two, three, halfway up, seven, two, three, halfway up, eight, two, three, halfway up, reach the arms up, the palms face each other, shoulder distance apart, push into your feet, rise up, Turn your palms out, dive forward all the way down. Inhale, lift to a tabletop. 
Exhale, fold over. Plant your hands flat and step to a plank position. It's like the top of a push-up. So your hands are shoulder distance apart and your feet are hip width apart. You're in what's called a plank. Let's bend the elbows to point backwards. You're only going halfway down and then straighten your elbows. It's a push-up, three more. Bend and straighten, two more, bend and straighten, one more, bend and straighten. Lift yourself upwards and backwards. You look like an upside down V. It's a downward facing dog. Come forward to plank, step your right foot outside your right hand and return the foot backwards where it was to plank. So the right foot steps forward two and back. Step forward three and back. Step forward four and back, step forward five, and back, step forward six, and back, step forward seven, and back, step forward eight. Lift your right arm to the sky, lower this right hand down, return the right foot to the ground. Step your left foot forward, return it to a plank. I'm mirroring you, left foot goes forward two, and plank, three, plank, four, plank five, plank, six, plank, seven, plank, eight, left arm goes to the sky, look up to see your thumb. Lower this hand down, return the left foot to the ground behind you, lift yourself upwards and backwards, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank, step your right foot outside your right hand, lift your right arm to the sky. Now scoop this right arm inside of your left arm. Let's stay here. You're moving backwards on a diagonal. So this right arm is on a diagonal. Your palm is face up outside of your left thigh. You're looking backwards to your right hand. So you're working the sides of your waist. You're working your obliques in order to twist here. It's like you're whittling away your waistline. You're getting narrower. The right arm goes to the sky and you're scooping under this left arm. Three up and twist. Four, scoop. Five, scoop. Six, scoop. Seven, scoop. Eight, Scoop, return the right hand to the ground. The hands are shoulder distance apart. Return your right foot backwards. You're in a plank position. Do three push ups, pushing down with the elbows and up. Two, good. Add on one more. Bend and straighten. Let's go upwards and backwards, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Step your left foot outside your left hand. Take your left arm to the sky. Now we're not gonna scoop from the outside of the left thigh. We'll scoop to the, from the inside of the right arm. Let's stay here in this twist. So you have your left arm on a diagonal with the palm face up outside of your right thigh. And you're looking backwards towards the right, from the outside of that right shoulder, you're looking to your left hand. You're in a twist so that you're working the sides of your waist, your obliques. Let's lift the left arm up and scoop it under. Three up and scoop. Four up and scoop. Five up and scoop. Six up and scoop. Seven up and scoop. Eight up and scoop. Return the left hand to the ground. Return your left foot backwards. Go upwards and backwards, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Step your left foot outside your left hand. Stay here. Your feet are wider than your hands and your torso and your butt are parallel to the ground. So it's not that your butt is lower than your knees. Your butt is just as low as your knees. Then put your hands on your thighs, push off your thighs, come to stand up. Your feet are wider than your shoulders. Reach your arms up to a letter V with your palms facing forward so your entire body looks like a letter X. Bend your knees and take your hands to tap the top of your feet. Notice how your butt is low, but not lower than your knees. So your knees are bent and your butt is just as low as your knees. So your torso is parallel to the floor. So the crown of your head, instead of dropping down to the floor, is reaching forward. Let's reach the arms up two, 
down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six. We bend the knees on the way down. We straighten on the way up. Eight, let's do it again. Eight, up, seven, up, six, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up. Take your hands to your hips, bend your knees, and then straighten your knees. Two, straight, three, straight, four, straight, five, straight, six, straight, seven, straight, eight straight let's squat down with the hands to prayer now our butt is going low we're going to come to stand the hands down outside the legs to squat stand three so in the beginning we were doing this with the feet under the hips but now we're doing it with the feet wider than the shoulders do four more four stand three stand two stand one do two more sets of eight eight stand seven up, six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one last set of eight, eight, up, seven, up, get low, six, up, five, up, four, butt back, three, up, two, up, one. Let's put the hands down on the ground inside of the feet. We'll step backwards to a plank position, top of a push up. Step your left foot outside your left hand. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Let's take the hands to hold the front of the ankles. Drop your head and straighten your legs. So now you're in a wide legged forward bend. The feet are wider than your shoulders and the toes face forward, so the feet are parallel to each other. Walk your hands forward, that your hands come right under your shoulders. You're up on these high finger pads with your hands shoulder distance apart. Your torso is parallel to the ground and your heels are down. Reach your right arm to the sky and scoop the right arm inside of the left. You'll look to the left. So the right arm comes up and scoop. Three, scoop. Four, scoop. Five, scoop. Six, Scoop, seven, scoop, eight, scoop, right hand goes down. Take the left arm to the sky, reach the arm up, scoop the arm inside of the right. Two up and scoop, three, scoop, four, scoop, five, scoop, six, scoop, seven, scoop, eight, Scoop, return the hand forward. All that scooping was working the waistline, so you're getting your waistline narrower. Take your hands to your ankles again, drop your head. Bend your knees and put your hands flat in between your feet. Step backwards to a plank position, top of a push-up. Let's hop our feet outside of the hands. This time, we're gonna squat down, that our toes turn out, and our butt goes lower than our knees, and our hands come to prayer. So we're in this wide-legged squat. Let's plant the hands and hop back to plank. So we'll hop to that squat and hop to plank. Three squat, hands in prayer, and plank. Four squat, and plank. Five squat, and plank. Six squat and plank. Seven squat and plank. Eight squat. Now this time, put your hands on your thighs and come to stand. Reach your arms up to that letter V. Let's go back to squatting with the hands in prayer. We'll plant the hands, hop to plank, hop to squat, arms up to that letter V. Plank, squat, arms up to that letter V. Three plank, squat, arms up to that letter V. Four plank, squat, arms up to that letter V.
comes up to that letter V. Five plank, squat, arms up to that letter V. Six plank, squat, arms up to that letter V. Seven plank, squat, arms up to that letter V. Eight plank, squat, arms up to that letter V. Take your hands back to your hips, heel toe your feet right under your hips, lower your hands down, sweep the arms out and up, dive forward, the arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale to a tabletop, exhale, fold over. Take your right knee to the ground behind you, take your left knee to the ground behind you. Plant your hands flat, keep your toes tucked. Pull your butt back to your heels and then come forward with your shoulders over your wrists. Two backwards and forward. Three backwards and forward. Four backwards and forward. So make sure that your knees are not too close to your hands, that your knees are under your hips. The knees are planted hip width apart and the toes are tucked. It's the opposite of pointing your feet. Bend your elbows to point backwards, but take your nose eight inches forward so that your elbows are bending right over your wrist, not behind your wrist, and then come back up. So you're gonna bend your elbows as your nose goes eight inches forward, so your elbows bend right over your wrist, and then come back up. Three, bend your elbows and straighten. Four, bend and straighten. Pull your butt backwards, then send your shoulders forward over the wrist. Bend your elbows to point backwards and come up. So we have four, sorry, yeah, four backwards, forward, bend, straighten. Three backwards, forward, bend, straighten. Two backwards, forward, bend, straighten. One more backwards, forward, bend. Let's do that again. Pull your butt back, then come forward, shoulders over wrists, then bend your elbows to point backwards and then straighten your elbows. Do it again three more times. Backwards, forward, bend, straighten. Two more. Backwards, forward, bend, straighten. One more. Backwards, forward, bend, straighten. Let's lift our heels up. You'll point your feet, keep your heels lifted, bend your elbows to point backwards as you lower down and then come back up to down and up. You're keeping your feet lifted off the ground. Four, just bending your elbows and straightening. Five, engage your core, your belly hugs in. Six, up, seven, up, eight, Let's lower the feet, we'll tuck the toes, then point your feet, make your knees just a little bit wider than they are, and bring your big toes to touch in center. Pull your butt back to sit on your heels. Walk your hands forward, shoulder distance apart. Your elbows are lifted off of the mat. Lower your forehead down, your butt pulls back, you're in a child pose. Lift your forehead up, rearrange yourself all the way back to hands and knees to all fours. So your knees will come narrow under the hips, your feet right behind your knees, tuck your toes, pop your hands up onto high finger pads, step your right foot inside of your right thumb, step your left foot inside of your left thumb, bend your knees and put your hands on your thighs, arrange your feet two fists width and parallel, push off your thighs, come to stand up. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Dive forward, the arms go out to the sides and down. Step your right leg long back behind, you're in a low lunge. Reach your arms up, you're in a high lunge. Take your hands to hold onto your hip bones and bend your back knee. So the back knee is not touching the ground, but it's bent off the ground. So both of your knees are bent. Take your right arm with a fist up to the sky. So you have this right fist lifted to the sky. Just pause here, breathe here. Let's pull down this fist to the shoulder, then down to the hip, then down to the ground. 
So we'll come back to the hip. So we'll go sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Three sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Four sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Five sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Six sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Seven sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Eight sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Both hands come to hold the hip. Step the back foot forward. The legs are straight. The feet land at the front of the mat, hip width and parallel. Lower your hands down. Sweep your arms out and up. The hands land shoulder distance apart at the top with the palms facing each other. Turn the palms out, dive forward. Your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, lift to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Step your left leg long back behind you in a low lunge. Reach your arms forward and up. You're in a high lunge. Take your hands down to hold your hips. Your left fist goes to the sky. So the left arm is up and it's in a fist. Take that fist to your left shoulder, down by your hip to the floor. So we go sky, shoulder, hip, floor. Oh, three sky. Let's bend the back knee and keep the back knee bent the whole time. Shoulder, hip, floor. Four sky, oh, sorry, sky, shoulder, hip floor, five sky, shoulder, hip, floor, six sky, shoulder, hip, floor, seven sky, shoulder, hip, floor, eight sky, shoulder, hip, floor, both hands go to the hip, walk the back foot forward, the feet land, hip width in parallel. Lower your hands down by your side, turn the palms out, lift the arms out and up, dive forward, the arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale to a tabletop, exhale, fold over. Step your right leg long back behind, arms come forward and up, you're in a high lunge, hands go to the hips. Bend your back knee, right fist to the sky, to the shoulder, down by the hip, just pause here for a second. So that back knee is bent. Let's take both hands to the floor. Step to a plank position, top of a push-up. Take your right fist to your right hip. Then extend that arm straight back behind you. Rebend it, take it down. Let's walk our feet forward. Inhale, come to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Let's start from folded over. We'll do it three more times on the right side. Your right leg goes backwards, it's a low lunge. The arms come to the sky, it's a high lunge. Take your hands to your hips, bend your right knee. Right fist to the sky, to the shoulder, to the hip. Both hands come down. Step to a plank position. Right fist to the right hip. Extend the arm straight, rebend it, take it down. Walk both feet forward in between the hands. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, fold. Two more with the right leg. Right leg goes backwards, arms up, hands to the hips, bend the back knee. Right fist to the sky, to the shoulder, down, both hands to the floor. Right leg goes, or so you're stepping backwards to a plank position. Right fist to the hip. Pull straight in it behind you, rebend it, take it down, walk both feet forward in between the hands. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold. Last time on the right side, right leg goes back, it's a low lunge, arms come up, it's a high lunge, hands to the hips, back knee bent, right fist to the sky, to the shoulder, down, both hands down, step to a plank position, right fist to the right hip. Straighten the arm behind, rebend, take it down, walk your feet forward in between your hands. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold. This time, sweep the arms out and all the way up, hands land shoulder distance apart at the top. Dive forward, the arms go out to the sides and down. Let's do it four times on the left side. Inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold. Left leg goes long back behind, you're in a low lunge. Reach your arms forward and up, you're in a high lunge. Hands to the hips, back knee bends. Left fist goes to the sky, to the shoulder down. Both hands go down. Step to a plank position, left fist to left hip. 
straighten the arm, rebend it, take it down, walk your feet forward, inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold, left leg goes long back behind, arms up, high lunge, hands to hip, bend back knee, left fist to the sky, to the shoulder, down, both hands down, step to a plank position, left fist, left hip, straighten the arm behind, rebend, take it down, walk your feet forward, inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold, left leg long back behind, reach the arms up, high lunge, hands to your hip, bend your back knee, left fist to the sky, to the shoulder, down, both hands down, step to plank position, last time, let, or, or we have one more after this, left fist to left hip, straighten the arm, rebend, take it down, walk your feet forward, here's the last one, inhale, tabletop, exhale, fold, left leg long back behind, high lunge, hands to hip, bend back knee, left fist to the sky, to the shoulder, down, both hands down, step to plank, left fist, left hip, straighten the arm, rebend, take it down, walk your feet forward. Inhale, come to a tabletop, exhale, fold. Take your left knee to the ground behind you, take your right knee to the ground behind you, take your hands to your hips, you're standing on your knees. Take your hands to prayer and sit down on your heels, your toes are tucked, Come up with the arms reaching to a letter V, your palms face forward. Sit down on your heels, your toes are tucked, and then come back up. Three down and up. Four down and up. Five down and up. Six down and up. Seven down and up. Eight down and up. Hands to the hips, point your feet. Take your feet over to your right. Sit down behind your knees. Take your feet out in front of you. Your soles of the feet are down and your knees are bent. Stay where you are. I just wanna give you the side view, but you're staying where you are. Now, right where you are, take the back of your head to the ground. Take the back of your shoulders to the ground. You're laying down. Lift your hips up, you're in a bridge position. Lower your hips down. Do that three more times. Lift up and lower down. Two more, lift up and lower down. One more, lift up and lower down. Take your legs straight up to the sky and zip your legs together, flex your feet. Right here we have our legs straight up in a north-south line. Let's go halfway to the ground. So now our legs are on a diagonal line. From here, with your hands remaining down, take your knees into your chest. So don't use your hands. Take your knees into your chest without using your hands. Then shoot your legs back to that diagonal. It's halfway off the ground. So three in and out. Four in and out. Five in and out, six in and out, seven in and out, eight in and out. Keep your legs on a diagonal. Let's make this a little bit more interesting. Reach your arms straight back behind you. The back of your hands are on the floor, shoulder distance apart. Now lift your upper body off the ground. Take the knees in and back to that diagonal. Two in, diagonal, three in, diagonal, four in, diagonal, five in, diagonal, six in, diagonal, seven in, diagonal, eight in, diagonal, stack your hands behind your head, lower your upper body down, bend your right knee into your chest and then re-extend to that diagonal, right knee goes in and extends, two more in and extend, one more in, do it with the left knee, in, extend, just three more, in, extend, two more, in, extend, one more, in. Now lift your upper body up, that right knee comes in, extend, right knee in, extend, two more, in, extend, one more, in, do with the left knee, in, extend, three more, in, extend, two more, in, extend, one more, in. Let's alternate, right knee in and extend, 
left knee and your upper body stays lifted, right knee, left knee. Keep going, you're on that diagonal, right, left. Here's four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Lower your upper body down. Take your legs straight up to the sky. Lift your upper body straight up and down. Two, down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Six, down. Seven, down. Eight, lower your legs on that diagonal halfway to the ground. Lift your upper body up, down. Two, down three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, reach your legs to the sky. Right up at the ceiling, take your legs just a few inches apart and then back together. Apart, together, three, together, four, together, five, together, six, together, seven, together, eight together, lift your upper body up, keep your upper body lifted, take the feet a few inches apart and together, two together, three together, four together, five together, six together, seven together, eight together, lower your upper body down. Let's take the legs on a diagonal halfway to the ground, take them a few inches apart and back together, two together, three together, four together, five together, six together, seven together, eight. Lift your upper body up, take the legs apart together, two together, three together, four together, five together, six together, seven together, eight together. Lift the legs up, lower your upper body down. Bend your knees and make your shins parallel to the ceiling. Zip your legs together as if you had one leg. Then from here, with the shins parallel to the ceiling and the knees bent right over the hips, the ankles are in line with the knees as you flex your feet, your toes are pulling towards your nose. Lift your upper body up and down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, do it again, eight, down, seven, down, six, down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one. Tap your heels down and bring them back up. Two, down and up. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, Lift your upper body up, keep your upper body lifted, tap your heels down, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up. Let your head and your heels tap down and up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight. Take your right knee into your chest, clasp your hands over your right shin, take your left leg to the sky, lower your head down. See if you can get that right knee very, very close to your chest, if you could flex your right foot. Keep the left leg straight up to the sky and flex your left foot. Lift your upper body up, and look into your belly. Lower your left straight leg within two inches off the ground and lift it back up. Two down and up. Three, up. Four, up. Five, up. Six, up. Seven, up. Eight, do one more set just like that. Eight, up. Seven, up. Six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, 
up, take the knees into the chest, lower your head, neck and shoulders down. Keep the left knee very close to you, clasp your hands over your left shin, take your right leg straight up to the sky, flex your feet. Keep that left knee in very close as you flex the foot. Keep that right leg super strong and straight as you flex the foot. Lift your head, your neck, your shoulders up, look into your belly. Lower your right straight leg down within two inches off the ground and then lift it back up. We have two sets, two down and up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, do it again, eight, up, seven, up, Six, up, five, up, four, up, three, up, two, up, one, up. Lower your head down, bend both knees into the chest. Lift your head back up and rock yourself forward and back so much that you come to sit up, but that your feet are off the ground. Keep your knees bent and zipped together. Your shins are parallel to the ceiling. You're holding behind your thighs and your feet are flexed. Hold on to your elbows and twist to your right and then come to center. Seven, right, center. Six, center. Five, center. Four, center. Three, center. Two, center. One, twist to your left. Left, center. Two, center, three, center, four, center, five, center, six, center, seven, center, eight, twist right and left, right and left, right and left, three, left, four, left, five, left, six, left, seven, left, eight, twist left and right, left, right, two, right, three, right, four, right, five, right, six, right, seven, right, eight, come to center, take your hands behind your thighs, sitting up tall. So we were working the sides of the waist, the obliques. Separate your feet, lower your feet down, your hands come to your shins, pull back on your shins that you're sitting up nice and tall. Stay where you are, I'm just coming to face you sitting up tall. Then let's come to our hands and knees. You're facing me on your hands and your knees. It's an all fours position. Pop your hands up onto high finger pads. Step your left foot inside of your left thumb. Step your right foot inside of your right thumb. Your feet are hip width and parallel. Take your hands to your thighs. Push off your thighs. Come to stand up. Just standing here. Hug your belly in and up and your tailbone in and down, that you're standing nice and secure, that you're grounding into your feet as you're also lifting, feeling lighter. Take your hands to prayer in front of your heart. I hope you enjoyed this power sculpt. My name is Marissa.